What's up, Collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you have somebody that you're ignoring right now. This person is trying to message you, but you're healing. Okay, you're ignoring their calls. You're ignoring their text messages. You're ignoring their emails. You're healing and you're working on your creativity right now. We ain't got time for this person. Okay, so why is this person trying to contact you? They want to get all up in your head. Okay, whatever it is that, that you're not answering their call, they want you to forget that. Okay, some of you may need to get a... a uh, a necklace with an amulet on it or something for protection because this person wants to get up in your head and at nighttime tie your head up before you go to bed and for those of you with this blue what she got on is something that you need to speak out about okay it's something that you your it's not your throat chakra it's your third eye chakra with this blue okay maybe your throat chakra too with how she got that dress going up her neck but this is something that somebody needs to speak out about and you're ignoring this person, okay? But if you're ignoring them, you need to let them know why you're ignoring them. Okay, that's not for everybody. It's for somebody. Okay, so you're ignoring this person because you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to self-love yourself. You're searching for a higher source. You may have, you know, gotten on a new religion or you may have started, you know, being awakened to certain things. Yep. You see, this person wants you to just waste time with them. They want sex. And you're not giving it to them. And see, this person was sent to you because they know that you have some sort of spiritual allotment. Okay. You have something about you. You're gifted. You're talented. You have some sort of abundance. And this person is after you. This is why they're trying to stop you from going on this direct path because... When you go on that path and your chakras open and your crown chakra open, you'll start finding out things about yourself. And once you start finding out things about yourself, you'll find out things about them. Okay? Things that this that's been hidden in secret from you, well, you'll start getting clarity and understanding. Clarity about this person trying to juggle you. This could be a person juggling you with a, a, a job. With another person, um, anything other than you that's taking their time away from you and have you sitting at home watching the, the time fade away. No. Yeah, this person has you, you know, uh, feeling all left out, let down. This person had you like walking on a tightrope and you have to wear a mask around this person. You couldn't be who you truly wanted to be. You wanted to start on a spiritual journey and you had to pretend. Sometimes you had to wait for this person to leave to do certain things. And that's not the way it should be. You shouldn't have to hide who you are. This is why the mask is out here. Hiding who you are. See this mask? Hiding who you truly are. Who are you behind that mask? Look at this mask. You're hiding something. You're hiding who you are. And this person has on a mask because they're hiding somebody from you. All you got to do is when you close it, is slide that thing across and you don't have to do all that. Okay, so yeah, this person had you like walking on a, a tightrope. Unsure of yourself. Stuck in it. Stuck over them. Keeping you from going in the right direction that you're supposed to be going. Yeah, this person was sent to you to stop your program. Okay? Because you're a creative. You have a gift. You have a talent. You may play an instrument or something. You may sing. You may write music. You may coordinate some shit. I don't know. 
Something you got where people are saying you're foolish, but you're not. And with them sleeves being green like that, shit. Whatever it is that they saying you you gonna be a, you a foolish, no. You gonna make money, but if you listen to them, you won't make no money. You'll be a fool if you listen to them. All right. You heard my cat. Tell me more. take all of these but I'll take this this person wanted you to be tied up in some a situation but you're not tangled up you don't have to be tangled up you can just reach over to the side and get that sword and cut yourself out of this shit see whoever tried to tie you up in a situation they can't even tie a knot they can't tie their shoes they can't do shit how they gonna have you tied up so I'm gonna put this right here and see here it is again the spiritual gift that you have that they don't want you to see. So now you've started working on your spiritual gift. And now this person is trying to talk to you. You don't want to hear it. Your spirit guys are fully around you. Protecting you. And since you've walked away from this person. And you're not dealing with them. And you've gone on this spiritual journey. They're trying to figure you out. You're a mystery to them. they were wondering why is she not letting me keep her hanging no more. This is where they wanted you. You'd be sitting somewhere naked with your legs up waiting for me. My cat even confirmed that. Smokey. My son came in there and heated him up something for his lunch. My cat begging. Okay, so yeah. You have somebody around you that's trying to send a message to you. This person who you're ignoring, they kept your, your judgment cloud. It's a lot of clouds out here. Having you unstuck and unsure of you doing the right thing, you probably was going out of your way to try to make this person happy. And they dealing with somebody else, juggling you, a third-party situation. It's like this is some circus shit. Okay? They want you to be a clown in a circus. You tell they ass no. You will not be a part of their fucking juggling act. You ain't a part of their circus. They three ring circus. Having you up on the on the uh the high the high wire. I guess I forget the name of it. They want you to be down. You ain't a part of their circus. You smarter than that. They want you to be like a the, the cage lion or something. Inside of a cage, not showing your gifts, not showing your spirituality. Some of you are, are readers. Some of you are intuitive. Some of you are oracle readers, intuitive readers, tarot readers, um, clairvoyant, audiovoyant, have the gift of healing. Your hands are healing. Your voice is healing. Anointed hands. Some of these are the energies that you carry. And there's people around you that's jealous of that. And they will send shit to you to try to throw you off your path because it is a God's given gift. It is whatever that you have. They don't know it. They, they can't have it. They don't, they, they don't have, they don't got what you got. Okay. So what is this? What is it that the, the collective has? That this person, and see this person, if this is somebody you were sleeping with, they, uh, yeah, this was some, this is your partner or your ex-partner or somebody who you recently, uh, detached from. Um, it's like this person was leaving you feeling alone because they dealing with somebody else. And now if, if, if you felt like they was dealing with somebody else, if you feel, that's your intuition telling you. They give you little hints and stuff and your intuition kicks in. And when it's telling you, listen to it. Because when you don't listen, you end up getting hurt. If your first instinct is telling you that this person is cheating, cut their ass off. Because if they're showing to you and giving you the signs that they're cheating, then they're cheating. And if they're not trying to do anything to make you understand that they're not cheating, then you don't need it. Okay? And I'm going to stop right there. Peace out.